In this video, we continue our study of transformations of graphs and look at what changes cause a function to shift horizontally. Let's consider the function f of x is equal to square root of x, and we want to graph the following functions and state how they relate to the graph of f. So our square root function I have drawn on the screen also, remember this is defined for 0 to infinity, and so it goes through 0, 0, 1, 1, 2, 1.4, 4, 2. So it's that half parabola that opens to the right. Well, when we look at g of x, which is f of x plus 5, that means to find the square root of x plus 5. And this function, though, is defined for values where x plus 5 is greater than or equal to 0. In other words, where x is greater than or equal to negative 5. So when we put in negative 5 into the function, we actually get the square root of negative 5 plus 5, which is the square root of 0, or 0. If we input negative 4, the square root of negative 4 plus 5 is the square root of 1, or 1. The square root of negative 3 plus 5 is the square root of 2, or 1.4. The square root of negative 2 plus 5 is the square root of 3, or 1.7. And then the square root of negative 1 plus 5 is the square root of 4, which is 2. So look what happened here. We're getting the same output values, right? We're getting 0, 1, 1.4, 2. <clears throat> but what's causing that is a different x value. So this time our x value has shifted, but the y values are actually staying the same. When we plot this on the coordinate system, we have negative 5, 0, negative 4, 1, negative 3, 1.4, and then I'll just plot negative 1, 2. So notice that we still get this half parabola that opens to the right. The original graph is actually, we take it up and we shift it left five units. So the graph of G is the graph of F. shift and left five units. So notice here again, the y values stay the same, but the x values have changed. And also notice that this x plus five, this change of plus five occurred to what I call the inside of the function, right? We made an inner change, a change to the x, which caused the graph to shift in the x direction, which is left or right. But kind of think about how it shifted. It's actually shifting opposite of your maybe intuition, right? If you think about plus 5, but it actually shifted it left 5. So we have to think about, well, what makes that inner expression 0? And that tells us that x has to be negative 5, so it's a shift left. In fact, because x has increased by 5, it actually takes 5 less to get the same result as the original function. What if we have g of x is f of x minus 6? In this case, g of x is equal to the square root of x minus 6. This function is defined only when x minus 6 is greater than or equal to 0 or when x is greater than or equal to 6. So I can't even plug in 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, or 5 into that function. If I plug in 6 in place of x, I get the square root of 6 minus 6, which is the square root of 0 or 0. If I plug in 7, the square root of 7 minus 6 is the square root of 1, which is 1. Substituting 8 for x, I get the square root of 8 minus 6, which is the square root of 2, or approximately 
So again, notice that my y values, 0, 1, 1 1.4, those are the same y values that I had on the original function. But notice that now instead of 0, 1, and 2 giving me those values, it's actually 6, 7, and 8. So when I plot this graph, I have 6, 0, 7, 1, and 8 is going to be at 1.4. And so I can see that I'm still getting a sideways parabola that opens to the right, but it is six units to the right of what that original function was. So the graph of G in this case is the graph of F. Shifted six units to the right. And again, if I think about setting x minus 6 equal to 0, I get x is 6. So it takes me 6 more than the original function to get that same output. So an inside change shifts the graph horizontally right in the x direction opposite of what you would originally think, opposite of the sign. So let's summarize this. The graph of y equals f of x plus h, where h is greater than 0, is a graph of f shifted left h units. So if the point x, y is on the graph of f, then the point x minus h, y, is on the graph of y equals f of x plus h. The graph of y equals f of x minus h is a graph of f shifted right h units. So if the point x, y is on the graph of y equals f of x, then the point x plus h, y, is on the graph of f of x minus h. So just think for a moment what I'm wanting you to do with this particular property. If I give you, let's say f of x is equal to x plus 3 quantity squared, and I ask you to use transformations to graph that, what I would want you to do is to recognize that the basic function or parent function is the squaring function, right? Take everything away except leaving the x and we get y equals x squared. Well now because this is an inside change, there's a change attached to the x, this is going to shift the graph of that basic parabola in which direction? Well I have to think, well x plus 3 equals 0, what makes that 0? That's negative 3, right? Because I need 3 less than the original function to get that same output. And so this graph is going to shift. We shift the graph of y equals x squared left 3 units. So that point zero, 0, on that basic graph goes left 3 units. 1, 1 goes left 3 units to negative 2, 1. 2, 4 goes left to negative 1, 4. And then we can continue that with our other points as well to see that it's just that basic graph shifted left 3 units. So the goal is not to have to pick up the calculator. The goal is to look to see what the change is and to know that basic function so well that you can get the shape of the new graph. So let me know if you have any questions on this. Thank you.